Haining Farm's located at uh, Don Valley, down in the Yarra Ranges. Previously a dairy farm, Haining Farm's been revegetated for specialised habitat for leadbeater's possum and helmeted honeyeater. This site is part of the Yellingbo Conservation Area, but it's been managed by Parks Victoria since 1973. Haining Farm had big open pastures and it was a blank canvas. Three years ago, we started planting out here and at that point, this landscape was a cow paddock. It had been very intensely farmed for more than 150 years. A lot of the water had been drained and was just being delivered straight to the Yarra Valley. And we started to divert it into these wetland cells and we put back those wetting and drying cycles that were once here. And that allows us to build these new habitats. We have just seen incredible growth. We've got trees that are up to 10 metres tall. We've got bird life that have arrived that we hadn't seen on site. A whole ecosystem of plants that have been specially chosen and planted specifically for the, the possums and the birds. This site presented a very unique opportunity to build a new home for a helmeted honeyeater and leadbeater's possum. Because they're not only our faunal emblems of Victoria, but they're also both critically endangered species. Leadbeater's possum and helmeted honeyeater need these incredibly dense plantings. The habitats that we're building for lowland leadbeater's possum are also really important habitats for a large number of other species. This is probably one of the most complex revegetation projects that I'm aware of. We had 180 different species selected. Most of the plants were grown by our in-house nursery at Australian Ecosystems. They specialise in local endemic species. We worked very closely with Australian Ecosystems to source the plants. All the seeds and propagation material are collected from local provenance. Australian Ecosystems were fantastic at knowing exactly where each plant needed to go to thrive. There is a lot of forethought in how we go about planting and what gets planted where. The wetland cells are a really key part of this site. The sedge-rich eucalyptus camphora swampland, which is the preferred habitat for the helmeted honeyeaters and the leadbeater's possum. Even though it's been designed for leadbeater's possum and helmeted honeyeater, it's actually a home for so many other plants and animals. It's in probably the next five to 10 year period. The site has been earmarked for the release of helmeted honeyeater and leadbeater's possum. In the three years, going from a cow paddock to this amazing side out here with the help of Australian Ecosystems. We've had lots of things move in very quickly and establish in this new home. Knowing that we're creating new habitat for a couple of endangered species, it makes it all that much more rewarding.